9 upon 4 raised to the power of 9 upon 4. Can you find the value? So let's try. 9 we can write it as 3 raised to the power 2 and 4 as 2 raised to the power 2 then 4 raised to the power of 9 upon 4. Now we know if a raised to the power of m upon b raised to the power of m then this we can write it as a upon b whole raised to the power of m. So this we can write it as 3 upon 2 whole raised to the power of 2. Again there is an identity if a raised to the power of m whole raised to the power of n then this is equal to a raised to the power of m times n. So this will be 3 upon 2 raised to the power of 2 times 9 upon 4 this 2 times 2 we can divide. So this is now 9 upon 2 or we can write it as 3 upon 2 whole raised to the power of 9 then all raised to the power of 1 upon 2 because we can write 9 upon 2 as 9 times 1 upon 2 and if a is raised to the power of m times n then we can write it as a raised to the power of m whole raised to the power of n here like this. So we took 9 inside the bracket and 1 upon 2 outside the bracket. Now 3 upon 2 whole raised to the power of 9 we can write it as 3 upon 2 whole raised to the power of 8 plus 1 then whole raised to the power of 1 upon 2. Again if a raised to the power of m times a raised to the power of n then this is equal to a raised to the power of m plus n. So if we have a raised to the power of m plus n then we can write it in the form of a raised to the power of m times a raised to the power of n. So here we can write 3 raised to the power of 2 whole raised to the power of 8 times 3 raised to the power of 2 whole raised to the power of 1 then whole raised to the power of 1 upon 2. Again a times p whole raised to the power of m we can write it as a raised to the power of m times b raised to the power of m. So here we can use this identity to write 3 upon 2 whole raised to the power of time, power of 8 times 1 upon 2 times 3 upon 2 whole raised to the power of 1 upon 2. This is 2 times 4 is 8. So this is 3 raised to the power of 4 upon 2 raised to the power of 4 times 1 upon 2 means square root of 3 upon 2. 3 raised to the power of 4 is 81. 2 raised to the power of 4 is 16. This we can write it as square root of 3 upon square root of 2. Now to remove the square root from the denominator so that we have a real number. We multiply and divide it by square root of 2. Rationalize it. So this is 81 times square root of 6 upon 16 times 2. Because square root of 2 times square root of 2 means square root of 2 square. And then we can remove the square root with the square. So finally we have 81 times square root of 6 upon 32. So this is our answer. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.